When I began exploring mechanical watches, I started with a healthy interest in Seiko and Hamilton. But there were dozens of watch brands that I had never even heard of, Oris being among them. Luckily, my watch journey took me to YouTube where I discovered the Urban Gentry. TGV loved Oris, and after watching a couple of his videos about Oris, I became obsessed. It took me a bit longer than I wanted to buy my first Oris because mostly at that point, I had never spent that much money on anything besides a car. But now I have two Oris watches and several others I would like to have. What can I say? I love Oris. Oris's history dates back to 1904. The name Oris comes from a nearby brook in the beautiful mountains of Holstein, Switzerland, where the headquarters still reside to this day. Like many Swiss watchmakers at the time, Oris was primarily making pocket watches. The world of watchmaking shifted during World War I. It was becoming necessary for soldiers to be hands-free during combat. In 1925, the company started fitting bracelet buckles to its pocket watches, thereby transforming them into fully fledged wristwatches. It wasn't until 1938 that they released one of their most iconic timepieces, their first pilot's watch, the Big Crown Pointer Date. This watch was designed for visibility and with an oversized crown to ensure that pilots wearing gloves could set the watch with ease. Oris is an independent brand. They're not owned by the Swatch Group or the Richemont Group or some other big conglomerate. Now, there was a brief period during the quartz crisis where Oris gave up their independence to join the predecessor to the Swatch Group. They quickly regained their independence in the early 80s and have been that way ever since. They're kind of known in the watch space as just always doing their own thing. Some watchmakers will make the same watch over and over again, but Oris doesn't always do that. They're not afraid to take risks. And because of that, watch enthusiasts benefit from some pretty cool and unique timepieces. One of the biggest reasons they're popular among watch enthusiasts is because they actually listen to their consumers. A lot of other watch brands are more concerned with mass production and marketing to everyone. And this just doesn't leave a lot of room for creativity. Oris has conquered the skies, land, and sea with their wide range of original timepieces. There seems to be an Oris for everyone, and almost every model is available in different sizes and dial options. I like the Aquas in general, but when I saw the Clean Ocean Limited Edition with the Aquamarine dial, I just had to have it. It retailed for $2,300, and I paid the full freight for it when I bought it online because I was an idiot. My second Oris I bought at an authorized dealer and I got a fairly heavy discount. Never pay full retail, especially for Oris right now. When I'm holding this watch, it has the look and feel of much more expensive luxury brands. The bracelet is so comfortable, I forget I'm wearing it. I have my Oris 65 Diver on a NATO strap for reasons other than comfort. That bracelet was very comfortable. Part of the reason I bought it on the bracelet was because the bracelet on my Aquas was so comfortable. But it has a lot of bronze in the bracelet and I don't like the smell of pennies on my wrist. Then there's this beautiful blue ceramic bezel. One of the reasons I opted for this watch instead of the Tudor Black Bay 58 is that Oris gives me a scratch resistant ceramic bezel while Tudor offers me a scratch magnet. Oris uses a Solita base movement, and it's certainly not COSC certified. Yet, both of my Oris watches are running great, are fairly accurate, and are super reliable. A Solita base movement also means that you don't have to send your watch back to Oris when it needs to be serviced. This is a job that your local watchmaker can do. Their watches look great, feel great, and are easy to service. Oris is so creative with their watches. They might not have the most flashy dials, but they don't have to. The Big Crown pointer date hasn't changed much since its release in 1938, because it hasn't had to. Oris has kept this classic design fun and exciting with bright colors and varied case materials. 
They use subtle little details when they're designing their timepieces. They have modern pieces like the Aquas with its robust case and radiant sunburst style. But then they also have vintage inspired pieces like the Big Crown Pointer Date and the Divers 65. They're never afraid to try something new and different. Take the case back on my Clean Ocean Aquas. Instead of giving this watch an exhibition case back and revealing Oris's signature red rotor, they have made this beautiful case back out of recycled ocean plastic. This makes every model unique and Oris has turned this case back into a dial. Oris is always trying something new and it's amazing how many ideas they have tried and still manage to stay on brand. When Oris releases a new collection, you know there's gonna be something interesting and exciting for you. Oris has come up with some unique designs that are incredibly functional. The Aquas doesn't look like some Rolex subclone. In fact, it doesn't even look like any of the other divers out there. But that hasn't negatively affected the watch in terms of comfort, durability, or style. It's very difficult to practically reinvent a whole genre of watches. That's why so many divers seem related to each other. The distant descendants of the Rolex Sub and the Mont Blanc 50 Fathoms. Not the Aquas. The unique button case is oddly rounder than pretty much any other diver I have ever seen. But this allows it to fit very differently from other divers as well. My Clean Ocean is 39.5 millimeters in diameter, but it fits more like a 37. Bottom line, you're not gonna confuse many of what Oris sells with other watch company offerings. Like many brands, Oris is suffering from some price creep in the last 10 years, but there's still a great value. Even though some of their models are pushing into the more $5,000 plus range, you'd still be hard put to find a better value than the standard Aquas or the Diver 65. What can I say? I love Oris and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do next. I have two. And the one thing I know for certain is I will own more before I am done.